All right, it's Thursday evening. It's weather for weather geeks time. Well, after a nice day today, we have some rain in our forecast for Friday, but overall this system is trending a little bit less soggy, so rainfall totals will probably be a little less than it looked like they would be 24 hours ago. We'll get into all of that in this video. First, a quick look at today's numbers. Today went pretty much as planned. 29 the low this morning, 63 this afternoon, much closer to the average of 65 than we've been over the last few days. We've had highs in the 40s and 50s dating back to last weekend. So today was better. Quick time lapse from busy 224 in Boardman across from Southern Park Mall. A uh, steady increase in high clouds this afternoon made for kind of a milky appearance to the sky by the end of the afternoon and into this evening. Uh, these high clouds streaming out ahead of the system that will bring us rain as we go into our Friday. Today is an anniversary that a lot of us don't want to remember, especially those who maybe have some friends or relatives in the south. A generational tornado outbreak occurred on today's date back in 2011, 12 years ago. Uh, this was focused mostly Mississippi, Alabama, into parts of Tennessee and Georgia. But there were tornadoes that stretched all the way up into the mid-Atlantic states, a couple in upstate New York, eastern Pennsylvania. Didn't have many uh, severe weather problems in our area, but this was a huge deal with uh, some EF5 tornadoes and unfortunately tremendous loss of life with uh, this tornado outbreak on today's date back in 2011. Uh, nothing that bad this evening, although it's been a, another active day in Florida, especially North Florida, where we've had some hail producing storms, some tornado warnings across the panhandle of Florida, and also a severe thunderstorm watch is out this evening for parts of western Alabama into northern parts of Mississippi. Back here at home, we'll have a quiet evening. Uh, it'll be a mild night. Temperatures will have a hard time dropping below, below uh, 50 tonight, but clouds will continue to lower and thicken. And by daybreak tomorrow, I think it's going to start raining, especially in areas south of Youngstown. But north of Youngstown, you'll get in on the rain. It'll just take a little bit longer. So it's raining pretty much everywhere, I think, by 7.30 or 8 in the morning. So plan on a wet uh, morning commute across the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys. And if you're heading to Cleveland or Pittsburgh, same idea. Now, that being said, it's not going to rain all day Friday. We have introduced lower rain chances into our forecast for the second half of the afternoon now on Friday. So it looks like a dry punch of air will push in and uh, the steadiest of the rain will wrap up early in the afternoon, leaving us with largely dry weather late in the afternoon and early in the evening, maybe a passing shower or two. I don't think that will be much of anything. Best chance for a late day thunderstorm tomorrow, will be down towards I-70, uh, Zanesville, Cambridge maybe, heading down towards Athens, Parkersburg, Marietta. Around here, I'm not real concerned about thunder tomorrow. I, I think it's just gonna be a soggy morning and midday, followed by a drier trend for the afternoon. Now this low pressure system, is going to eventually just kind of cut off and this is what's going to give us the pretty lousy weather for the first half of next week but we'll, we'll have a decent day on saturday there could be a shower early on but i think we'll get into a lot of this dry slot right here as we go through the afternoon on saturday so uh mowing the grass doing anything else outdoors saturday afternoon you should be okay with temperatures kind of similar to today in the in the lower 60s saturday afternoon then as we go to Saturday night, could be a passing shower or two, and Sunday is kind of a tricky forecast in terms of timing out rain showers at this point. I think it'll be a cloudier day Sunday than Saturday will ultimately turn out to be. Um, does it rain much during the daylight hours, or do most of the showers occur later Sunday evening? That's a tough call right now. There's some model disagreement. Um, but we're going to allow for showers at any point in our Sunday forecast right now. Hopefully we'll be able to fine-tune that a little bit uh, more tomorrow. But at the very least, if you have plans Sunday, plan on the possibility of some showers here and there, even though timing them out right now is a little bit of a, uh, of a challenge. Rainfall expectations have come down, as I mentioned at the top of the video. Looks like at this time yesterday, we'd see about an inch worth of rain through Saturday evening, but now it's going to be closer to a half an inch because of the rain maybe departing a little bit sooner on Friday. This is mostly a morning and midday thing on Friday now. So yeah, pretty good model consensus now, closer to one half inch. So our weekend forecast looking like this. 63 Saturday, this will be the better half of the weekend, despite a damp start in some spots. Uh, some sunny breaks Saturday afternoon. Not much sunshine Sunday. It'll be a cooler day Sunday. Showers around, especially in the afternoon, but stay tuned on that. We'll be able to maybe time out those showers a little bit better uh, come this time on Friday. All right, upper level low weather woes next week. Uh, that big circle around the Great Lakes, that's an upper level low pressure system. This is a very amplified flow, uh, very wavy. Here's a big trough, big ridge, big trough, kind of the Greek letter omega. An omega block sometimes pays us dividends. We're on the, the good side of that, sometimes not so much. And this time around, it's not so much. It's going to be a, 
a very chilly and raw few days underneath this upper low during the first half of next week. Rain showers around, gusty northwest breezes. It's going to feel like early to mid-March for a handful of days next week. In fact, this will be the coolest start to the month of May through the first four or five days since 2005. It's been 18 years since we've had a, uh, a start to May that looks like this. We're talking high temperatures about 18 degrees below average for the first couple of days of the month. That'll put us around 47 for daytime highs. Monday and Tuesday, not much better on Wednesday. Temperatures will start to moderate some towards the end of next week, but it doesn't look to me like we truly break out of this abnormally cool pattern until we get to around maybe the 9th, 10th, and beyond in the month of May. Uh, this is one set of modeling here, but it's a much less amplified looking pattern. By mid-May, it's much more of a zonal pattern. You don't have these big ridges and troughs. And so that says to me that uh, the pattern will definitely moderate as we head towards mid-month. Will it become a blowtorch or abnormally hot or anything like that? It doesn't look like that. Um, but uh, we've got a good first week, maybe even up to 10 days worth of cool weather to kick off the month of May. A uh, quick uh, word about the longer range modeling. Uh, I checked out some of the latest runs of the European weeklies today. Uh, painting a pretty dry picture for the month of May. Um, and I would be concerned at this point that that trend will continue into parts of summer with El Nino coming on. Uh, that tends to dry things out in our part of Ohio, in our part of the country. It's, it's a wet signal in El Nino in the summer, in the Corn Belt and other parts of the U.S. But in eastern Ohio, western PA specifically, more often than not, if you get a pretty good El Nino going in the summer, it means largely dry weather. So if we have a dry May and the summer trends that way, I'd be concerned about at least some crispy yards, if not uh, maybe increased chance for drought conditions in our area this summer. Check out earlier versions of this video, uh, especially yesterday. Talked a lot about uh, the potential for El Nino this summer and what it may mean for us. In the meantime, thank you for watching tonight. We'll do an updated weekend forecast and much more on Friday evening on Weather for Weather Geeks.